Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meesha once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate the mid rate, inverse code, spread, and spread percent under the subject international finals. Again, a very important topic from the exam point of view. Okay, so let us first note down the various formulas and then we'll be taking up two important problems sum in order to understand how to solve those sum. So let us start with the very first one. Okay, now let us see how to solve sums in which they have asked you to find the inverse rate, the spread, mid rate and spread percent. Okay, so these are the four new formulas uh, which are there uh, and they will ask you a question based on all these four. Inverse rate ka formula is bid is equal to 1 upon ask rate and ask rate is equal to 1 upon bid. Spread is ask minus bid. bid mid rate is ask plus bid divided by 2 and spread percent is spread upon ask into 100. Now, based on that, let us see how we can solve the sum. Question number 1. Euro to USD is given as 1.5160, 1.5220. The first rate is always your bid rate. Your second rate is always your ask rate. Okay, so we have bid rate and ask rate. They are asking you to calculate mid rate. Number 1. Mid rate. Now, mid rate ka formula is ask rate plus bid rate divided by 2. Ask rate is 1.5220 plus 1.5160 upon 2. Okay, so when you add up, it becomes 3.038 uh, divided by 2. So when you divide, you get your answer as 1.5190. That's your mid rate. Second, they're asking you to find the spread. Now, spread ka formula is ask rate minus your bid rate your ask rate is 1.5220 your bid rate is 1.5160 when you subtract it you get the value as 0 0.0060 okay when you subtract it so we have 1.5220 minus 1.5160 so the difference is 0 0.0060 perfect okay Third, the last formula that they ask you to find is spread person, which is spread upon ask into 100. Spread, we, now we already found the spread as 0 0.0060. So I'll write it as 0 0.0060 upon ask rate, which was 1.5220 into 100. Okay, when you when you solve, you will get the final answer as 0 0.39 percent. Okay, so this is how you all had to solve basically the sum when uh, you know the bid and ask rate is given, and they asking you to find the mid spread and spread percent. Now, a little advanced sum to that is uh, the second sum. One USD is equal to Canadian dollar. Uh, the bid and ask rates are given to us. They are they're asking you to identify in which country it is a direct code okay so now let us see how to solve such sum okay so number one we have to first mention that we know that foreign currency will always be expressed in one unit so in our case, USD is foreign currency and Canadian dollar will become your home currency. So therefore, it is a direct quote in Canada. That's my first answer. Second, they have asked you to find find the mid rate. So we'll write mid rate is equal to now the formula was ask rate plus bid rate divided by two. Ask is always the second one. So 1.1650 plus 1.1630 divided by two. So when you divide, when you add up, when you divide, you should get your answer as 1.1640. That's your mid rate. That's the A part, okay? The second ka B part where they ask you to find the spread. 
Now spread का formula is ask minus bid. So that will be 1.1650 minus 1.1630, which comes to basically 0.0020. That's the second, and the C part is spread percent. That is spread upon ask into hundred. The spread is zero point zero zero two zero upon ask is one point one six five zero into hundred. So when you divide and multiply with hundred, the answer that everyone should have got would have been zero point one seven percent. Okay, so again, again, it will be point zero zero two zero divided by one point one six five zero into hundred will be zero point one seven percent. Okay, that's my spread percent. Third, what they ask us to find is the inverse quote. Okay, now. Inverse quote का formula is number one. We need to first find the inverse bid rate. So bid rate का will be one upon ask. That is one upon one point one six five zero. That's my ask rate. When I divide, I get the value as zero point eight five eight four. And secondly, I have to find the ask rate. Ask is nothing but one upon bid. Which is one divided by one point one six three zero, which comes to zero point eight five nine eight. Okay. Therefore, finally, if I have to show the inverse quote, I will get the inverse quote as it was given as one USD is equal to this Canadian. So one Canadian dollar is equal to bid rate was zero point eight five. Uh, sorry, the bid rate was zero point eight five eight four. Slash, the ask rate was one point one six three zero USD. Okay, that's my final answer. So basically, we use inverse quote when when they have given you two quote that is bid and ask rate together. So in order to convert it uh, in the reverse order, in the in the inverse order, it, the bid rate will always be one upon ask and ask will always be one upon bid. We got the no, this was the new bid rate. This is the new ask rate. Okay, so I will change this. Okay, this my ask rate is uh, not this, but it is zero point eight five nine eight. Okay, that's the that's actually the new ask rate. So this is the new inverse quote. One Canadian dollar is equal to zero point eight five eight four slash a zero point eight five nine eight USD. So this is how you all have to solve basically the the, the next four formula that was inverse rate, spread, mid rate, and spread percent. Okay, so I hope everyone have understood that. Okay, with that we will be ending this video here. Okay, thank you so much.